Nam Dal. Today I'm going to show you how I transformed a top that had a way too plunging neckline to make it a more modestly covered top. I'm going to show you how to crochet an edging on the fabric and then show you how to crochet a triangular motif and join it as you go onto that edging on the fabric to create this beautiful top. I bought a beautiful wrap dress at TJ Maxx for seven dollars recently and it looks great on me except for the fact that the v-neck comes way too low pretty much um, almost below my bra line so um, I've been toying around with wearing tank tops underneath and I really don't like that look so I thought this might be a great example for showing you another way to crochet on fabric so we're not actually going to cut any part of the dress what we're going to do is take one of our steel crochet hooks that has a really really sharp point on it and one of the best features of these crochet hooks is that they easily stab into fabric like that so in this video I'm going to show you how we crochet a chain edge onto the fabric in order to be able to have an edge to join a motif in the technique of join as you go. So let's get started. We're going to need a tidbit or a full hank if you have one around the house of Be So Fine Yarn, my fingering weight bamboo yarn. This is in hand dyed colorway iced silver fox. I thought it would be really pretty to wear uh, with the black dress going with, you know, kind of like a charcoal accessories. So my shoes and my jewelry and my makeup will all be in the darker gray to go with the silver gray on the black dress. And I'm also going to be using a number six or one millimeter steel head crochet hook. I tried the dress on and marked the spots that I wanted to have a little more coverage with bobby pins. I thought it was just a little bit easier for me than using safety pins because they were just happened to be right there in my bathroom. So I'm going to tie the yarn onto my crochet hook. And I'm going to pick up the edge of my top and insert my crochet hook into the edge of the fabric about an eighth or quarter of an inch way down. And pull the loop through to slip stitch my first stitch. And I'm going to chain five. And then I'm going to single crochet about a half an inch down on the edge of the fabric. Chain five. And we're going to single crochet about a half an inch further down on the fabric. And we're just going to repeat this all the way down until we get to the V point where the second bobby pin is marking our um, V neck. And the reason why I marked that position as well is that I knew that this could slide around a little bit and I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly where those points crossed each other based on my actual bust ease. Depending on how Depending on the size of your bust, your shirt will adjust differently within the same size garment than somebody who has a different bust. So when you're holding the top or the dress without being in it, you could assume that that's the way it would lay, but it may not be the way it would lay because you're not flat. Okay, so now I'm at the point where my top crosses over and I want to make sure I go through both thicknesses of the top so that I'm securing it at the position that I know that the top crosses over on my body. And I'm going to set it down 
So you can see what I mean. I work through both thicknesses where the v-neck overlaps on itself. Okay, so now let's count how many loops we have over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're going to, you know, eyeball it that we do every half an inch for our uh, chain, five, chain five spaces, but I also want to make sure that we do the same exact number, which will be 11. five so far. Okay, so I'll set this back down again, and now we have 11 chain 5 spaces on either side of our V on the wrap top. In the next section, I'm going to show you how to crochet a triangular motif and then join it as you go to this edge. Okay, we fastened off the yarn here, tied it into a knot onto our other crochet hook. I'm going to use a G6 crochet hook for the actual motif and we're going to start with a chain five. Slip stitch into the fifth chain from your hook to join in a ring. Chain three counts as a double crochet and a second double crochet in the ring. Chain three and three double crochet or two double crochets in the ring. We want to do this a total of six times with that the chain three and the first double crochet counting as our first one. So we'll chain three again two double crochets in the ring, chain three, two double crochets in the ring, chain three, two double crochets in the ring. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have five, so we're going to do one more. Two double crochets in the ring, and for our last chain three space, we're going to do a chain one and a half double crochet into the top of the first chain three to count as our last chain three space. So it's yarn over, insert your hook in the ring, pull up or stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook in one fell swoop instead of yarn over, pull through two twice like we would for a double crochet. So then we're going to chain three, double crochet in the same space, chain three, two double crochets in the next chain three space, chain three, and then we're going to work two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets all in the same chain three space. Then chain three, and we'll work two double crochets in the next chain three space, chain three, two double crochets, chain three, 
and two double crochets all in the next chain three space. Chain three, two double crochets in the next chain three space, chain three, and you know how we started at the top center of that last chain, th first chain three space, we're now going to complete the other half of it with two double crochets and we're going to replicate our chain three space again with a chain one and a half double crochet in the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round. So it's yarn over, insert your hook in that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. A half double crochet is the linear, linear equivalent of a chain two, so chain one and a half double is the equivalent of a chain three space but leaves you in the top center of it. So we'll chain three now for the next round and single crochet in the same space, chain three, two double crochets in the next chain three space, chain three, two double crochets in the next chain three space, chain three, we'll do two doubles, chain three, two doubles in the next chain three space, chain three, two doubles in the next chain three space, chain three, two doubles in the next chain three space, chain three, and we'll do two doubles, chain three, two doubles in the next chain three space, chain three, whoops, chain three, two doubles in the next chain three space, chain three, two doubles in the next chain three space, chain three, and then we'll finish off that first chain three space from the beginning of the round with two more chain three, or two more double crochets and a chain one and half double crochet in the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. Set this down so we can take a look now and we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so what I'm planning, I have four chain three spaces on each side of my triangle right now. I need a total of five, and let me show you why. What I'm planning on doing is based on the fact that I have 11 chain three spaces on either side of my V-neck, I want to join in every other space with the chain three spaces of my motif when I join as I go, except for these two down here, I'm going to join them at the same time. So now that I explain that to you, I'm going to show you how I do it. So we're going to start with a chain three, counts as a double crochet, and double crochet in the same space. Now, instead of, let's see, instead of doing a chain three now, we're going to chain one, and because this corner here is going to join, let's see, where would, hmm. Oh, you know what, I got a better idea. Let's end up that last round now with a double crochet to count as our chain three space. See how we ended up in the center when we did a chain one and a half double? I wanna end up on this side now because I wanna do my whole corner at one time. So we'll chain three, counts as a double crochet, and double crochet. And now we're gonna do our chain three space, but we also need to join it to this spot on the, on the edge of this dress. So we're gonna chain one, we're gonna slip stitch into that first chain three space to join, and that slip stitch counts as the second of our chain three, and then we'll go and then chain one, and then go back to our motif, and two double crochets in that same space. Okay, so now our next chain three space is a chain one, skip the next chain, chain space on the edge of our top, and slip stitch into the next one. Chain one, so that was a total of chain three then, and then we'll work two double crochets in the next chain three space on the actual top. Okay. Then we're going to chain one. Okay, so on our top now we're going to skip the next chain space and slip stitch into the next one. Chain one, so that counts as our chain three. Chain one, slip stitch, chain one, and we're going to work two double crochets in the next chain three space 
on our motif. So then we'll chain one, skip the next chain space on the top, and slip stitch into the next one. Chain one, then working back on the motif, work two double crochets in the next chain three space. Chain one, skip the next space on the top, slip stitch into the next one. Chain one, and now we're ready to do our corner, so we're going to work two double crochets in the corner, and then we're going to chain one. And remember how I said we were going to slip stitch across both of the next. We're going to skip one chain space on the top, and we're going to slip stitch into both of the next two. So we'll slip, we'll pick up one here, pick up one there, and then pull through all of it, chain one, and then com come back and finish our corner on the motif with two double crochets. So now we're going to turn our work because now we've got one side of our motif joined to the top. I'm going to turn the whole top upside down now so you can see what I'm talking about. See, look at that. We're getting there. Okay, so one half is done now. All right, so we're going to now chain one, skip one space on the top, slip stitch into the next one, chain one, come back and work two double crochets in the next chain three space on our motif. Whoops, one and two, chain one, skip one space, slip stitch into the next, chain one, two double crochets in our motif, chain one, skip one space on the top, slip stitch into the next, chain one, two double crochets in the next chain three space on the motif, chain one, skip the next space, slip stitch into the next one, chain one, I'm going to come back and now it's time to do our corner. So we'll do two double crochets, chain one, and skip one, slip stitch into the last chain space on the edge of the top, chain one, and now we'll turn our work and finish our corner on the motif. So now we have a couple of options. We're now working the top edge of the motif, which is now going to be the new top edge of the top or the dress. And you can either work in our established pattern, or I guess you could put some flower petals on this, but I actually think that it's going to be pretty just as is, so I'm going to maintain our established pattern and do a chain three, two double crochets in the next chain three space, chain three, two double crochets in the next chain three space. I am so excited to try this on. I think this is going to look so cool and it's definitely going to make me feel a lot more comfortable in a top that was otherwise way too low for my cleavage. Chain three and we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round which counted as our first double crochet and we're going to fasten off. Can you believe how fast this was? What a fast fix for a $7 top that turned out to be super duper cute and perfectly modest for my body style. Let's go try it on. <laughs>